Hi, I'm Mrs Watson. I currently teach politics and history at Farlingay High School and I'd like to welcome you to Politics A-Level. So uh, AQA is the board that we use for Politics A-Level uh, and it's formulated and made up of three papers. Paper 1 which is UK Government and Politics, Paper 2 which is Government and Politics of the US and Comparative Politics and then finally Paper 3 which is Political Ideas. So Paper 1 which is taught uh, in Year 12, covers UK government and politics. So Teacher 1 um, will teach you for three lessons a fortnight. Teacher 2 will also teach you for three lessons a fortnight. Topics for Teacher 1 include democracy and participation, elections, political parties, referendums, pressure groups and the European Union. And we look at how the European Union has affected UK policy. Teacher 2 covers consti uh, constitution. Parliament, Prime Ministers, Cabinet, Judiciary and Devolution, so it's looking more at the structural side of government. So the papers are all two hours long, they're all examined in the summer of Year 13 and they're all worth a third of uh, your overall A-level. And the exams all follow the same structures with three nine mark questions on each paper, a 25 mark extract question and a 25 mark essay question. So students really get used to the styles of questions on each of these papers as they stay the same. So paper two, which is taught uh, towards the second half of year 12 and the beginning of year 13. So this covers government and politics of the US and comparative politics, so looking at how they compare between the US and the UK. So we look at US elections, political parties, pressures and interest groups, the constitution, judiciary, congress, presidency, civil rights and comparative politics, uh, which has all been pretty interesting at the moment to teach about with the uh, election. So the course expectations from us, we hope to be delivering interesting and engaging lessons which will focus on knowledge and skills, also a lot of individualised help, support and revision. From you, we expect hard work and commitment and an interest in the world around you. There really is no need for you to have any previous knowledge about politics, uh, just an enthusiasm to learn. And we're looking for the entry requirements of a GCSE in English at a 5 or above. So why choose politics? So whether you're wanting to go straight into employment or onto university, politics is a valuable and insightful subject to take at A-level. So whether you're going on to uh, employment, having A-level politics presents you as a person who can rationally debate a range of topics, who understands how the country is run and what affects it. Um, you'll be an individual who can look at arguments with an empathetic but level-headed view and someone with great social knowledge. You'll also be a strong candidate for jobs in politics, international organisations, the media, government and political parties or civil rights um, civil services, uh, to name just a few. If you're hoping to use your politics A-level to go off to university, there are many degree courses um, which generally require or accept politics A-level, so of course politics is one of them, but also sociology, ethics, philosophy, economics, journalism, advertising, law, um, also international relations, history, social policy, media studies, cinema studies and journalism and there are many more that we haven't mentioned there. So some of our students um, have kind of shared with us the reasons why they've uh, taken A-level. So studying A-level government and politics provide insight into political beliefs central to an understanding of the modern world and it also develops analytical and evaluative skills in relation to interesting topics prevalent in the turbulent political climate of today. Um, and students generally really feel that it's very re relevant as a subject. So we're going to hear from Lily now, who's going to share some of her reasons why she took politics at A level. Um, so before studying politics, I sort of had no prior knowledge of anything. And I think that through lots of class discussions, we've sort of like, you get to gain examples from all over like from so many different sources, people have different views and I think before coming and doing this A-level then if you only know like what your parents have taught you then you can like start to formulate your own opinion and have conversations about not just the structures of government but sort of it as globally and like the things that we learn, different ideologies, different ways of people thinking like conservatism, liberalism and I think it's really useful subject to have as an A-level. 
Um, and I also think that politics A level can go with so many different of your subject choices. Like we study liberalism, which I also study in economics and in philosophy, and it just gives me a wider knowledge. And especially taking that, even if you don't do politics as a degree, then it's so useful to have a like you learn about economics, you learn about structure of government, everything around the world. So I think that it gives you a wide range of knowledge and you can carry that into whatever path that you want to take. So for paper three, this one's taught in year 13 and covers political ideas. So core topics are liberalism, socialism and conservatism and again they're split over two different teachers. Uh, and then we have an optional topic um, which will either be anarchism or feminism. Um, and that uh, is examined on one of the 25 mark uh, exam questions at the end of uh, paper three. So studying political ideologies enables students to further develop their own understanding of the world around them and how political ideas and ideologies have developed. So there are plenty of opportunities for trips um, within this A-level as well. So in April 2019 we ran a trip to New York and Washington DC for politics students which a lot of students found um, incredibly valuable. Um, but we've also previously visited the House of Parliament and the Supreme Court in London as well. So if you have any further questions about studying politics at A-level, please speak to uh, myself, I'm Mrs Watson, or Mr Smith, and we look forward to seeing you in class in September. Thank you very much.